first part of any procedure is the prep. Patients are instructed in my office in terms of how the procedure is performed, what to expect on the procedure day, and the typical pre-procedure things like no food or water within eight hours of the procedure. Patients are given uh, gentle sedation for the procedure through an IV. It's something similar to what you'd get if you were having a colonoscopy. They're positioned on the examination table on their stomach, which can sometimes be difficult for patients if they have a lot of pain, but thankfully they have an IV and can receive pain medications and it makes the procedure more tolerable for them. Uh, as the procedure starts, we will anesthetize or numb up the skin over the area that we're gonna be working. We're using live x-ray during this procedure, so it's important for us to know exactly where we're gonna be working, and with that x-ray, we can numb the entire area and make this procedure as pain-free as possible. Once the overlying area is numb, then we get to work. We make a very small incision. It's less than the width of a fingernail. It's not even an incision that we use a suture to close in the end. In fact, we close it with glue. Uh, through that incision, we're able to do everything that we need to do. We insert an instrument into the bone. Uh, it goes past uh, the back part of the spine and into the front part of the spine where the fracture is. Once that instrument is in place, it creates a working channel for us to um, guide a balloon in. So the balloon is inserted into the vertebral body and inflated to create a space. That's important because the next step is putting the cement inside the vertebral body. As the cement goes in, it's got a space to expand already. And as that cement flows into that uh, void that was created with the balloon, it begins to fill all of the little areas where the fracture is and fill in the bony matrix from the inside. Uh, no part of the cement makes it on the outside of the bone. It all stays confined inside the bone. And once that cement is in the body, it rapidly hardens. The cement undergoes a reaction while it hardens that helps to also cauterize some of the nerves in that area and decrease the inflammation and the pain that's coming from that fracture. After the cement is in, all the tools are removed and the cement stays in place, uh, hardening rapidly. And by the time the patient gets off the procedure table, most of the time the cement is totally hard and the fracture is fixed. Um, I've seen patients who um, are treated with conservative management and are suffering from weeks or months from the pain due to the fracture and sometimes even lifelong, as opposed to seeing the patients treated with kyphoplasty, um, being able to return to their normal daily activities, being able to spend time with their family uh, and take care of their grandchildren. It's, it's really remarkable and, um, and satisfying to see how quickly they do well following kyphoplasty procedure.